back, you bunch of bastards to Tabletop Tactics. You join me, Demon Lord Beard, and my esteemed colleague, Grandmaster Barn. Here he is. Does Hello like... there. How you doing? You good? I'm Guess. How are you? Great. Good. You know what else is great? <laughs> yeah. Chaos Demons, baby! <laughs> Thank you, Games Workshop, for providing us this, this uh, illustrious tome of Chaos Demons. We're very excited to give it a spin oh, today. So excited. And you're excited to give the old Grey Knights oh, a spin. I am excited. It's now Classico. It is now Classico. Grey Knights I don't, I versus don't... Demons. I don't think we've done it since the new book came out. Well, I think we did it once a long time ago, and then we were like, this is sad. terrible. <laughs> this Grey Knights sad. have just eaten the demons. <laughs> Um, yeah. But we think this would be a very different tale today because this is a pretty good it's, book, it's, you know. It's a very exciting pretty book. Pretty good. We've got Big Boy Bellacore in the oh, list. Oh, yes. We've got some Nurgle Demons. We've got some Corn Demons. We've got some Bloodthirst. We've got some Slobbly Bile Piper. Yes. We've got a bit of everything. Okay, so it's powering me up even though I'm supposed to be like, no demons. <laughs> Condemn your demons. Yeah. What have you got? Um, the Mighty Grey Knight. Oh, oh, I've, I've, I've taken a charcuterie of all of our... I've opened that Army of Titans and just yeah. taken all the fun things out. Yeah. It's empty now. It's all gone. Yeah, little bits. <laughs> As are my CP. Yeah. It's all gone. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's going to be good. You know what else is good? If you enjoy this video, you hit like. If you really enjoyed it, don't want to miss anything out, hit subscribe. If you have any thoughts about the game, you're like, what's these demons about? Get in the comments and tell us about it. And also, if you want to be a mega boss, you head over to tabletotactics.tv and you join us with an on-demand membership oh. and you can feast on the bounty within. Hada! Like vault that. of plenty. It is a vault. It is a, a hefty vault. vault. We have hundreds of decks of battle Hundreds! Reports. We also have the uh, top units and combos uh, over there as well, so we go into great depth, Chef, Chef and I, into the majesty of this tome. Um, and next week you will also see another battle report with the demons Indeed. facing the insidious custodies. Custodies. Stupid custodies. Custodies. Stupid gold. Good game, that! Gold good game, yes, it was game. a good game. Good game. <laughs> you know what else is going to be a good game? This one. Oh, I'm so excited! Let's get into the lists and see what's cooking up in the vaults of Titan! I didn't think I'd be saying this as a Grey Knight fan when the demons arrive, but rejoice, Grey Knight players, because we can use all the cool things in our codex. It's really exciting, and we get to fight demons again because they're really scary, and it's all a really exciting time. I'm very jazzed for this game. I can't wait. I've been thinking about this all the time, and I'm very, very excited. I'm taking a battalion today of the Blades of Victory to try something different. And I've tried to pack as many fun little tools and relics into this list as possible, so I do only start with 2 CP, but it is 2,000 points on the nose! I have three HQs in this battalion. My Warlord is Castellan Crow. I love this model, I think it's really, really cool. His lore is awesome, he's got a demon sword, he's on a demon world, and he's gonna fight demons with it, so... You take that, demons. Um, I've paid to give with the Warlord trait. I've given him Hammer of the Righteous. So he is plus one to wound when he charges or is charged, which is quite handy. And he has all his fight on death and martial prowess and all that good stuff, which hopefully might come up today. I do then also have a Grand Master in Nemesis Dread Knight. I have given him the Sigil of Exigence and all his standard goodies, but I have paid five points for what is maybe the most situational but coolest thing in the Grey Knights Codex, and that is the True Name Shard. Essentially, when he's fighting a demon, he reads the demon's true name, it puts fear into the demon's heart, and then it fights last. Which is very, very cool, and might come up today, so we get to use that, so that's fun. I then also have Caldor Draco, I've also given him a warlord trait today, um, and he actually gets to use half, the other half of his warlord trait, which is nice. So he is a demon slayer, so he gets plus one to his attacks when he starts combat, but also he ignores invulnerable saves against demons, which is very, very nice for him. Troops-wise, I have three five-man units of Terminators. I've given them more halberds because that's what looks coolest in the artwork, and that's how I'm feeling today. I also have a five-man unit of Strike Marines, just for points purposes. Then into the Elites, I have a Brotherhood Ancient. I've given him the relic, the Banner of Refining Flame, so I can do the cool sort of kami hami ha thing when he slams it into the ground and does a big explosion. So that's cool, and hopefully I get to use that today. I also then have a cheeky three-man unit of paladins, all with demon hammers, to act as Drago's personal bodyguard today. Just because I thought it was cool, really, and also demon hammers is just a cool thing to run. I then have three five-man units of purifiers. Um, Crow's very own brotherhood are here today and there to assist him. And then to round out the list, I have a Nemesis Dread Knight of the regular variety, so I can have one-on-one -on -one combat with demons and it will be glorious for the Emperor and for the Knights of Titan. Let's get to see what the demons are bringing. Day 
Demon List! The Chaos Demons are here! I'm very excited. I've been flicking through this book all morning. I've seen some delightful things inside. Maybe I will become a demon by the end of the game. We can only hope. So this is a battalion detachment. I'm running mixed demons and it's being led up by Bellacor himself, the Dark Master. Now, just let me indulge myself for a second. I'm going to go into a couple of details with Bellacor. Um, so he has an ability called Shadow Form, um, and that means uh, that when he's being targeted uh, with attacks, no rerolls can be made against him. They're minus one to hit, and they're minus one to wound, which is nice. And any ranged attacks are minus one damage. This was built into his profile. It's absolutely bonkers. I'm excited to give him a spin. And also, what about that paint job though? It slaps different. Fletch did that. It's very nice indeed. We've then got a bloodthirster of corn. An exalted bloodthirster, no less. I've spent a grand total of 40 points to give him indomitable onslaught, which means he can't lose any more than eight wounds in a, in a phase which is nice. In a phase? Yes. So hopefully he'll be sticking around for as long as humanly possible or demonically possible. I've also given him a relic called the Rune of Brass, which uh, you could argue is tailored towards the Grey Knights, but we don't care because everything's going to die. Um, so the Rune of Brass is a relic. It's got a 12 inch aura and it means that any doubles to cast means that that's like a wall perils. And instead of being D3 mortal wounds, it's D6, baby! So someone's going to explode. Um, so we have the Dark Master himself leading the list. We have the Exalted Bloodthirster leading the Legions of Corn, And then we have Thuppity Vile Piper leading the Nurgle Demons. So Thuppity's here, um, uh, pumping on his glute pipes. Um, he doesn't have anything special because he, doesn't, he can't really take anything, but he does have his very own stratagem, which hopefully I'll get to show off in the game, which essentially means that um, <laughs> enemy units laugh themselves to death and explode, so that's fun. So Thopperty's here, um, and Thopperty is leading two units of ten plague bearers. Ah yes, the plague bearers are here. Um, their tooty horns and their um, banners of flesh are free now, so they uh, both those units have those and Sloppity can help them out with various things during the game. Uh, we do also have two units of 10 blood letters. So the blood letters are here too. They will more than likely be deep striking or being manifested in this game. So you'll see them popping up once the blood has been spilled. Um, so those are my troops. And then we go on to, uh, oh no, I also have uh, two units of three Nurglings because those uh, little so-and-sos are always popping up and they should be holding some objectives for me, hopefully. Um, we've got two more things. We've got a unit of three beasts of Nurgle. So the beasts of Nurgle are a thing. Um, yes, they're pretty good. They're quite scary. Uh, you need to kill them in a phase, otherwise they regenerate all of their wounds. They can pack a hell of a punch in combat as well. So um, we'll see how they get on. And then finally, we have a soul grinder. I will be grinding the souls of the Grey Knights. The soul grinder um, is going to be Mark of Nurgle. Um, so he's going to be toughness 9, which is nice. So he's going to be stomping about, uh, shooting some bits, and um, also chopping the bits. So that is the list. It's 2,000 points on my Dynomic Schnoz. Dynomic? Sure, why not? Let's get into the mission and get into the carnage. Today's mission is Vital Ground, a strike force mission from the Tempest of War mission pack. Players must randomly generate a deployment zone and mission rule using the Tempest of War card pack. Players then alternate placing five objective markers onto the battlefield, with one objective each placed in their deployment zone and the remaining objectives placed in no man's land. The primary objective is Vital Ground, a progressive mission where players score victory points for each of the following conditions they achieve at the end of each of their command phases. Three victory points for holding the one objective in their deployment zone, four victory points for controlling one or more objectives in no man's land, five victory points if they control the objective in their opponent's deployment zone. These are cumulative and cannot be scored in the first battle round. At the end of each battle round, players also score one victory point for each enemy unit that was destroyed during that round to a maximum of three victory points. At the start of each player's command phase, they must generate up to three secondary mission cards. At the end of their turn, they may discard any of their active secondary mission cards if they wish to. It 
we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. this nonsense. Uh, this is very cool. It might look to the untrained eye that there's far more Grey Knights than Demons, but you do have an entire like corn element just waiting. We're waiting for the blood to be shed. Smell it on the wind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is so cool. So I've still got two units of 10 blood letters and a exalted bloodthirster to come down. Yep. So they'll be trotting along shortly. I've opted to not put anything in deep strike. Okay. I feel like we're going, the grants are going hard. They've entered the warp yep. with a whole fighting force and yep. they're here to slay some demons. Yeah. So I'm starting in the tide of banishment. Very nice. Because start as you mean to go on. Yeah. <laughs> but, and you've entered my domain. Yeah, exactly. We're in the warp on the demon world with the demons. Something's gone horribly wrong and we're here. Yeah. <laughs> with the king of the demons. Is that yeah, cool? Exactly. Is that, oh, oh, and the king of the grey knights. Oh, my oh this is cool. Uh, uh, right, so a couple of things to go over first of all. Um, our mission, uh, extra mission thing is chilling rain, which so, means nothing. Which I think is apt for the warp. It's kind of good, isn't it? It's, it's kind good. of warp. Mm, Makes me rain. think of that artwork of the old Grey Knight Codex, which yeah. is in the rain. It's all pitter pattering off his head. It's so cool. Um, in terms of the terrain here, yeah. um, in the middle, that is a LOS blocking piece of terrain. Um, uh, just imagine lots of um, steam and demon, demon yeah. and ghosts and things like that. Tentacles and um, like. Same over here. Two more pieces of LOS blocking. Uh, they can also be used as ruins. Yes. Um, here. And over there, these are also ruins as well. And we've got some barricades and some um, dense terrain as yes, well, which is done by the teeth. They're like teeth trees. Teeth trees. Oh. Um, aside from that, I think we're ready to go. I need to roll my warp storm. You do indeed. Points. So um, with this mechanic, essentially at the beginning of each battle round, um, I will roll 8d6. And for any 4 plus, that is a warp storm point I can use in this turn. Cool. I won't roll for this every, every time on camera, but I've got four Warp Storm points. Nice. Uh, which is very pleasant, and we'll go over that as we get into the game. But now we need to figure out who's going first. After you, you have the new book set. Okay. Demons, baby! Oh, it's a five. It's a good start. Not bad. Titan! It's a three. <gasps> I thought it was gonna get banished there. <laughs> Condemption. <laughs> Condemption? Is um, that what you do when you're condemned? Condemn? Condemn? When you can condemn someone. Um, the act of condemption. We'll exercise the demons. That's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll do Condemption's not a real word. <laughs> well, it is now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Command phase for the legions of demons. Is it, Le um, is it like Legion Demonica or something? Legiones Demonica. Yeah. I believe, yes. <laughs> so, I've drawn my cards. And they're, they're not bad. They're okay. It's a, it's a, good, it's a good early draw. Yep. Uh, we've got Secure No Man's Land, which is... For the taking. ...doable, I yep. think. Uh, we've got Grind Them Down. Yes. Might be a bit more tricky. And then we've got Attempting Target. Where's Attempting Target, please? I think it's going to be the one here. There he is. They're all, we're all hiding behind the hill. They're like, oh, it's good. Waiting. The, the fellow calls like, we should probably check on Steve. Yeah. I heard some Grey Knights are here. And we were all like, shh. Yeah. <laughs> like, Steve's not woken up yet. Is he all right? Uh, I've, I've put some rocks here to tactically... Oh, so it doesn't sleep. go off all game. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, nothing else to do in the command phase for the demons. Um, so I'll get into the movement phase. See? The plague bearers are on the move. I've advanced them so they can take the center objective for attempting target. And luckily, I'm not too close to get annihilated by Grey Knights. Uh, at least, that's what we hope. Next up, we've advanced with this unit of Plague Bearers over here. I should admit, I said there wasn't anything to do in the command phase, but there absolutely is. Property Biopiper has used his jolly gut pipe! So he's uh, put that onto these Plague Bearers here, so they get plus one to their move and their advance, which is nice. He's been tooting his horn, and they've, um, they've ridden off into the sunset, which is cool because the tree now gives them a minus one to hit uh, against range, which is very cool. And I'm also going to move old Floppity as well. Uh, oh, and that does mean that he can go far enough to do his hilarious stratagem. So that's nice for him. The beasts are next. These giant, gross babies looking for a cuddle. Up they cop. Last couple of bits to do. The soul grinder is going to bundle his way into the dents here so he can shoot through it. And the dark master himself is just going to bide his time. Move over this way before he strikes. That's the end of my movement phase. The Dark Master himself will conjure the warp. Um, really? <laughs> my offensive power, which I won't spoil now because it's very cool, uh, is not in range. So you don't have to worry about that. But I am going to cast Shrouded Step onto my Nurglings and okay. bring them across the battlefield. You can try. On a six, it goes off on a nine. 
That's fine, but you do have the ability to deny. Yes, I've got, I've got a few. Mm. Um, I, 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 I didn't think I was in Rainbow, but these guys are very much in range of That's the nice. Dark Master. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine with a plus one that is denied. Oh, you scoundrel. Very quick shooting phase. Alrighty then. So grander. So grander. So grand me. So I have my harvester cannon and my phlegm bombardment. It's nice, isn't it? It's splendid. That's all gonna go into your um, purifiers. Very well. I do not wish to be purified this day. It's the opposite of, of what, what my want, life's about. <laughs> yeah, demons don't really want to be purified. We'll start off with the phlegm bombardment, shall right we? Then. We have five shots. Very well. It's pleasant. Now it is it's pleasant. I'll be hitting you on threes. Yes. Because he's in the dens. Oh, you stupid soul grinder. Classic. Uh, Reroll ones, I'm presuming, is not. Is just, is it? Is it? Dark Master, reroll, hit. Not vehicles. That's there fine. You go. So I've hit you twice. I'll be wounding you on twos. Yes. What is it? Strength? It's strength eight. Oh, nice. So that's two wounds. That is at minus two, if you please, but minus one because of. That's it. Uh, one is saved, one is not. He's Steve lives. He's seen it. <laughs> um, and what's the damage on this? Damage three. Oh, okay. So, so he, he, he's, he's, uh, he's yeah. bombarded. He's one is splat and yes. one takes a little bit of the spray on yes. him. Uh, then we have the harvester cannon. The harvester Ready cannon. Ready to be harvested. Okay. Number of hits. And then I'll be wounding you this time on threes. Uh, it's two wounds. No AP though, because of uh, Armour of Contempt. I save one, fail one. Damage two, so one um, more is dead. Yeah, one is finished off, and one has a little bit of, like, phlegm on him. Very good, very good. That is my shooting phase done, and that is the end of my turn. <laughs> very well. Yes. Eat my demons. No. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> make my tummy feel funny. Tem tempting target has been secured. Yes. By my plague bearers. Indeed. Uh, they are startlingly close to your lines, but never mind. <laughs> um, I've secured no man's land because I've got two units over there. Thanks Indeed. to Mr. Um, Sloppity. Sloppity bar piper. Um, his stratum is only six inches. That is a shame. So we'll use that later. We'll use it later. Um, grind them down. I'm going to get rid of because you cannot be ground down. Because no. they've killed no units. There'll be no Indeed. grinding this day. Yes. So it's over to you. Let's see if the hordes of demons can survive the <laughs> onslaught of the Grey Knights. Let's see. My command phase and my card phase. Um, well. Got some interesting cards. <laughs> and a couple of pantaloony ones. Um, so I drew Bring It Down. Oh, that which we'll come on to in a minute. Okay. <laughs> um, extend battle lines, which is quite doable. Um, I then got no retreat, no surrender, and because I've parked in such a way that my whole army sort of surrounds this objective, I had to really discard that so I could move. And I got investigate site. So, oh, fantastic. Um, so there's certain stuff I could do. Obviously, looking at the um, wound characteristic of your army, there's only one possible target for bringing it down. There was only ever one. And it is Bellicor. Yes! <laughs> so I might end up keeping that for the whole game. Okay, that would be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Um, let me think about how that affects my movement. The Terminators move forth. I should also mention that Drago has put his command buff onto this squad. The Grandmaster! is moving a little bit cagily because Bellacor has got wings and he doesn't want to get his head chopped off. The Terminators move up the hill. Ooh, me giant calf muscles hurt going up that hill. The three-man and much beleaguered unit of purifiers is going to move forwards up this way. Oh. <laughs> They're not really keen on um, steep inclines, the Grey Knights, famously. Um, and this purifier squad is going to move up behind them. Drago's honor guard and himself are just moving around to get in space for powers. Crow is also moving forward, um, just um, as is the ancient, just to sort of hang back a little bit and make sure they see what's going on. To maintain some board control, these terminators advance with a fall on their advance, quite fast, um, just to sort of spread out and fan out across the battlefield. These purifiers, who also got a nine overall for their movement with the advance, are just going to follow up behind. The Strike Marines over here are just fanning out a little bit. They're still on the objective, but just to help with screening my backfield. Psychic phase. And ready, I hear the warp is being fickle. Ding, ding, ding. I'm going to use my warp storm points for the first time. So I'm going cool. to spend two of my warp storm points, yep. which is probably actually going to be the only ones I spend 
uh, based on what I can do, on Insidious Whispers. What does that do? So that means that all of my Legione's demonic units, which is everything, yeah. uh, have an aura, mm-hmm. a handy dandy aura, yep. which means that any units casting a psychic power <laughs> yep. perils on a double. <laughs> hey! Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so with that in mind, we yes. start my psychic phase. Um, okay, cool. So... Because of that, it's interesting, because normally I just go buck wild with my powers, um, but I've got to be careful um, with some stuff that is in range, but I'm still going to be casting some powers because I'm a great knight. Of course you And are. we'll start over here with the Grand Master, who's um, going to smite the tree. Okay. <laughs> just because I want to start whittling away the tree, and I think that's probably the, the way to do it. Yeah. Um, does that go off? Oh. <laughs> The insidious whispers yeah. begin! Oh, uh, you are oh, potentially in denial of range. Off. The tree's like, blow your bits off. Your bits off. It has gone off, but I do suffer perils <laughs> of the warp, which is fun. You don't <laughs> want to deny that, I presume. What? You don't want to deny that with Bellacore or anything. It's just no, I want you to take your wounds. Oh no, you suffer perils anyway. It's a smite, it's just the tree. You'll be alright. Okay, so the wounds on me. Okay. On the perils? Just the one. one. The wounds right. on the tree. Oh, that's Three. an unfair <laughs> trade off. <laughs> oh, I need to do my shrug. That wound, see if I take it. I do take that wound. Okay, very good. Um, well, there you go. I thought that was a fair trade. Yeah. Okay, and while we're on this flank, I'm then going to put Hammer Hand onto the Terminators. I thought that was going to be a double. I thought that was going to be a double <laughs> six. Um, that does go off. That okay. gives them they can remove their wound, which is quite nice. Hammer Hand. Um, then we will do um, this three man unit is in range, I believe, of the. Um, Plague bearers up on the hill. Yeah. Um, so they'll do the first purifying flame. Oh, very and they get plus one cast This will go off in a four. Okay. Um, it does Ooh, just about go off. I will that. try and deny that with Bellacor. Very well. The Dark Master. No, it's a no. four. Ooh! <laughs> the combat begins. Okay. Um, so three mortal wounds on the plague bearers. Oh, very nice. So one, one's just <laughs> one and a half are blapsed. Um, cool. Um, let me have a think about what I want to do next. A couple more powers to do. Um, the purifiers. In the middle are in range of the big play. I say big, there's two squad blobs of the same size, but in range of the play bearers in front of them. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. It just has big lunch. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm feeling a bit bloated. It's You're affecting my brain. In your brain. <laughs> um, so purifying flame into the play bearers by the tree. Okay. Um, five, that does go off. That's nice. I, he's only got one uh, deny on ah. Bellacore. Um, another three mortal wounds on the play bearers. Oh, purifying nice. flame. <laughs> one is dead. Cool, and um, moving then on to the Terminators near yes. Steve. And um, this is a power that's specific to the Blades of Victory, which is the Brotherhood I'm running today. Okay. I'm, I haven't used it before. Inescapable Pursuit, it goes off on a warp charge of a six, and they get to reroll charges for that unit. That's nice. Which is quite nice. So it's their Brotherhood power, so they all know it. Um, ooh, it does not go off. Oh, pants alive. Um, very well, I can wear that. That's not a problem. Wear it like a hat. Drago time. Oh, baby. It's my last power to cast. He can cast quite a few powers, but there's, there's nothing else really in range. I am spending a CP on Psychic Challenge so I can cast this on 3d6 just to help it go off, and it will be Gate of Infinity onto this Dread Knight. Nice. Uh, so 3d6, picking the highest. Six, seven, eight, nine. Splendid. That does go mm. off. Quite delightful. Um, He's been gat. He's on the objective. Nice. Shooting phase. And we're going to start with this three-man unit of purifiers. Um, they're a bit beleaguered, so I want to get their shots off before they're dead. And um, the two incinerators can see the back plague bearer in this squad um, by the eye of Steve. Steve. Um, so they're going to shoot their flamers at him. Nice. It's very nice. Uh, how many shots do they get? I'm going to use a stratagem called Revolting Constitution. Oh, lovely. Which um, is like transhuman physiology. But for a nurgly bit. Yes. Nurgly bit. Um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> and they got eight shots, which is nice. That's nice. Seven, eight. Um, that's into this unit, right? No, sorry, the other unit. I've that got. unit? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So they're revoltingly constituted. So it's um, transhuman, so winning your force. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that made a little, made bit, a little bit of bit difference. difference. Um, four wounds at minus one, sir. Well, I, the AP means nothing in this game. Yes, yeah, because you just have I your just got my demon save. Demon save. I should have explained that. Everyone, th- everything has a demon save. So uh, for the Steve. plague bearers, it's a four up. Very nice. Um, against ranged attack, which is very nice. I make two of them, but you've killed one, was which was on one wound, and the other one's lost a wound. Excellent. Um, but just while we're on this squad, I just want to check if he's in rapid fire. Yes, he is. Um, the um, Stormbolter wielding member of the Purifier team will shoot his bolters at them as well. Okay. Um, 
hits you twice. You've not yes. got a minus one to hit or anything at the moment, have you? Um, they... What else is shooting them? Um, potentially some Terminators and other bits. I've got those command points. I will spend two command points on uh, Cloud of Flies. Cool. So they're okay. minus one to hit. So would you have you would have done that for this start, the start of the shooting anyway? Because they're incinerated, so it makes no difference. But it you would have yes. done that as well. Okay, cool. Um, so the four shots. So I would have actually only hit you once then if you're minus one to hit. I'll be hitting on fours. Okay. Um, to wound you, sorry. I have wounded you. Demon save! I no. didn't make it. So you killed another one. Yes! Bah! Yes! We come to the Terminators in front of the tree. They're not going to shoot the Plague Bearers in front of them. They're going to turn and shoot the Plague Bearers by the spikes. I get it. Um, we'll be hitting on fours. <laughs> not bad roll that. Now, because you are a demon, I can reroll ones against you to hit. Actually, not a demon. Are you not? We've no. disguised. It's a disguise. Oh, fair enough. It's a very, very believable disguise, I must say. Um, that <laughs> I, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm in the Tide of Banishment. What was the unit you put Drago's reroll hits on? Um, the same unit. So it kind of comes out in the wash anyway, go but on. there you go. Um, there we go. I was just actually I've got a couple of tools I can reroll there as well. Because of Drago, that's very nice for them. Look at you go. Um, cool, so to wound you now will be fives. Yes. Because of your general disgustingness. Um, oh, that's not as good as, I can reroll the ones to wound again because of the tide of banishment. Please that's don't nice. banish me. Um, I like it here. Oh, I might need some banishing happening here, to be honest. Oh, well, that's actually gone quite well. Nice. Um, three, four, five wounds total. Demon save! Whoops. Whoa! Sorry, I banished my own dice. Right. Uh, that was a fail. I, I passed <laughs> one. So you've killed two more. Splendid! You're critting them down. A little bit. Yes. The three Terminators here that are on top of the hill, because the other two can't see, are going to shoot into the Plague Bearers that I'm trying desperately to kill. Uh, <laughs> of course. Um, couple of ones there, can we roll because of the tide? Uh, yeah, um, okay, Good hitting, considering it's on fours. That's not too bad nice. at all. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Wounding you on fives and sixes. Yes. Um, no, one three roll there, but again, not too bad. That is four wounds, sir. Four wounds? Damon save! Uh, I passed two of them, but, an but another one is... more has met his demise. <laughs> Whittling! You've got a sticky whistle now, they're disgusting, aren't they? <laughs> We're coming out to this squad of purifiers. I thought about trying to flambe some more plague bearers, um, but I don't want to extend my charge for these terminators, so they're going to try and set fire to your disgusting tree you oh. have set up here. Okay. Um, how much fire do they put onto the tree? Well, hopefully not that much. I mean, um, that's yeah, not bad. Middling amount. Yeah. <laughs> some Seven. fire. Some fire, a little bit. bit. <laughs> yes, Steve. Isn't too bad. Thanks. I want to see the fire. Thanks for your support. Um, I will be reading on five and six because you're tough on seven, aren't you? Yeah, seven! Can we roll that one? It's gone well. I hey, wounded you, you, you once. Now, this, this tree does have a three up invulnerable save against shooting. <laughs> Splendid. This Very is, thick bark. This I is have. a good use of my resources. There's a six as well. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> um, uh, some incidental storm bolters from the rest of the squad. Two are in rapid fire, one is not. Probably just a bit weepy now. Just trying to. Ooh. I'll re roll that one that went off the floor because the Tide of Banishment. It's good hitting from the squad. Yes. Um, we knew again. Oh, so he's minus one to hit as well because of his general stinkiness. You have one three in there. Okay, cool. So yeah. that one goes away. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sending wound. up puffs of. One wound. Puffs, okay. One wound. Puffs away! He's fine. <laughs> Tree! <laughs> Tree meta! <laughs> the Grandmaster now. Sees these beasts in Nurgle and these terrifying, <laughs> sticky, horrible, <laughs> baby monster things that want to eat everyone. And he wants to bring them down. Okay. So he's going to put all of his shooting into them, because I've also been reliably informed they're quite hard. Yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> right, <laughs> he's going to start with the side cannon. Okay. And we'll be hitting on two skis, Grand Master. Oh. Um, there's no minus one to hit on there. Can we roll one because you're a demon? Ooh, nice that. Time. You, you can put minus one to hit. You can do the swarming fly strat on any Nurgle unit, quite interesting. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, threes to wound you. I, good job I could reroll those ones because of the tide. Four ones, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's translated all right. Um, four wounds for you there, sir. Four wounds, is it? These are at minus two, but you don't care because you've just got your demons. Demon save! Four up demon save! Well, I passed one of them, so you've okay. done two, four, six wounds. Yep. How many's got left? One. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> silent, sir. Okay. Um, 
Silence, that's a good He does hit you all the time. Some good shooting. Good. Um, this will be wounding you on fives and sixes, though. Okay. Okay, tiny strength five. Okay. Uh, not bad, I'll though. that. Okay. Um, that's not too bad. That is five wounds. Five wounds. And minus one, but obviously you do not care. Damn it! Save. Oh. Oh, oh very co. Bum. Um, He's dead. He is dead. Yes. He is dead. He is dead. If you hadn't killed him, all of his wounds would have come back. <laughs> it's a good thing you got him. It's very cheeky, that. <laughs> very cheeky. We come now to the Dread Knight over here. Oh, yeah. And he's going to shoot his side cannon into the Nurglings. Um, a point I didn't bring up in my list, but he doesn't have a silencer. He has an incinerator. I need to save five points. So that's why that happened. Nice. Um, the side cannon will go into your Nurglings. I believe you said you've got a built-in minus one to hit. They have a, a, a delightful ability called Bothersome Scamps, <laughs> which means that they're minus one to hit. <laughs> yeah. um, well, bother this! Yeah. Um, that's, that's ranged and combat. That's hilarious. That is very bothersome. Well... Trans transpires this yeah, guy hates much them. Of a difference. <laughs> yeah. um, so I have hit you five times. What's your toughness? Three. Oh, okay. Um, I wounded you all the time. Not what? bad. Two, four, five wounds. And minus five wounds, two. It? Demon save! <gasps> I pass four of them! Because <laughs> <laughs> it's on fives and sixes. You, you take two it's damage. Two damage. No, you don't kill a face. <laughs> Nerdling that, baby. Bother some scamps. <laughs> Charge time! Okay, here we go. Now, there's some interesting things going on here. It's little tricksy bits for all the demons. <laughs> um, but both the Terminator squads are going to make some charges. Um, this squad over here by the tree is going to make a charge into the Plague Bearers. Very nice. They need a five. Oh, they yes. get it on an eight, which is nice. So double, though, so you take D20. I was going to say. D20 more to lose. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, these Terminators here on Steve are going to make a charge at the Plague Bearers. Very nice. Exactly well, what you just needed. What they needed. Well, it turns out they didn't need that fancy power. Um, right, I'll move them in. I've got to do some thinking because your beast of Nurgle heroic came to mean six. Start of the fight phase. Um, the Terminators on the hill are going to fight the Plague Bearers. Nice. I believe you're imploring a stratagem. Not for them. Not for them, eh? I've only got four left. Fair enough. Yes. Right, um, I'll be hitting you on three. Very nice. Isabella calls pawns. Um, I can reroll those ones because you are a demon, which is very nice for me. Um, let's take out those misses. They've Ooh, done very well hits. for themselves. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so you're toughness five, aren't you? All day, baby. All day. Um, so I'll be winning on threes. Come strength six. Oh Thomas. no. Um, take out those twos. Reroll one into a two. Marvelous. Oh, there's another one there. Yay. Okay, that did translate. Um, cool. So that is um, two, four, six, eight, nine wounds at minus two. Minus two. Well, I well I have a five up demon save. Oh, now. very well. Different for combat. <gasps> demon save. That's not gone well. Two, four. No, they're dead. No, uh, one, two, three. There's one left. It's two. With... It's two damage on the halberd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> We come now to the other Terminators. Um, I, I said I was just charging them, but I actually had to charge the tree as well. Damn you, tree! But, but because you had to avoid being too close yes. to them because they heroically intervened six. So essentially, I, I, I didn't say it, but I did need to charge both. Which is a sad time for me because two of my halberd wielding mega bosses are going to have to just stab a tree. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, the ones that are not stabbing the tree, though, and stabbing your plague bearers. Um, I'm going to do their attacks now. Well, I've got a revolting constitution. Revolting constitution. <laughs> um, nice. Okay, cool. So I'll be winning your fours. Okay. Um, these guys are hammer-handed, so they reroll their wounds, and they got drago so they are rerolling their hits. It's hammer time. It's quite nice. Um, good thing, too. Good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, now. Weirdly, those were all ones, so I would have been able to reroll them because of Tide of Banishment. Does anyway. my tree work in combat? Oh, good point. No, no. No, no. Does it work in combat? No. Ah. Oh. Shroud of Flies works in combat, but I'm going to save um, a CP for next Well, time. I've dropped one hit so far. Oh, good. Okay. Um, to wound you, fours. Um, oh, well. Oh, good job, I can reroll the, re re the wound roll, isn't it? <laughs> it just to say, it just, let me just check this. Each time one of the psyche unit makes a mini attack, you can reroll the wound roll. So I can just reroll all of those. Oh, that would have been mighty embarrassing. That's gone better for you. It has improved, but it still okay. made a bit of a difference. Five. Um, three, four, five, yes. Five, right. Five up. Demon save! I make two of them. Cool, so you popped off three. Three are slain, but right. the squad will very much still be alive. Okay, baby. Um, cool, now the attacks into the tree. <laughs> What's the toughest of the tree? Seven. 
Seven. Right. Do I hit the tree first? The tree will never die. Um, I can remember those because of the Drago situation. In two and twos into twos, brilliant for me. The Drago um, situation is a jazz band. Oh, a brilliant way. jazz band. Um, from Camden. Tough to seven, yes. Well, I guess I re all of those because yeah. it didn't wound you so far. One wound. Um, one wound. <laughs> the tree will never die. Damn you, tree. Well, I've done it's two damage to the tree. So he's got four wounds left. <laughs> Imagine that, a grey knight just ran up to a tree and has been like, Ugh! <laughs> spear. The tree's like, Aah! I'm going to hit you back with my plague swords. Please do that. Ready? I'm also going to use a stratagem. Ooh, okay. I'm going to use my plague banner, because that's my icon. Nice. Um, to do the stratagem called plague banner. Nice. Yes. Um, so six is to wound, to do a mortal wound. That's quite cool. Because then you have less of a save yes, than your armor save. They're a bit hard. It'll turn out. Double hard. Um, Mr. Thumbly Bob Hyper is giving them reroll ones to wound. Very nice. Isn't it though? It is very nice. <laughs> See what we can do. Kaya! That's a very good roll. Now, I don't want to alarm you. I don't want to alarm you, but I've hit you every single time. You have indeed. And I've rolled it, three sixes. Is it sixes is, to hit? The back of the, the beast! What? Is it sixes to hit or sixes to wound? Is what sixes to hit or sixes to wound? You got your abilities. I don't know. <laughs> so okay. sixes to, to hit automatically wounds. We've got three so wounds already. Nice. And sixes to wound. Will be the mortal wounds. wounds. Okay, nice. Yes. So those are my wounds. I'm going to wound you. Reroll ones to wound, which is there is one of them. Okay. So I've wounded you quite a few times. Two, four. That's... Wait, that's, that's a mortal, a mortal right, wound. One mortal wound. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven wounds. A minus two. Eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. So we'll have a three up save, because I'm real contempt. Oh, they've done very well there. Um, two have gone through. Okay. So there's a guy left on a wound, and there's a mortal wound still to roll for. Only two have gone through? Minus two, minus, uh, uh, oh no, that is right actually. Yeah, because yeah. I'm, con I'm contemptuous yeah. apparently. You've got a um, wound as well. Uh, oh, it does go through. So you, you killed, killed, you killed yeah. Terminator. Yay, play you have baby. finished with Terminator. Lovely. He's all plagued. He's like, no. <laughs> Morale phase. Yes. Yes. So there's a couple of things to do. Yes. Flopper the Bar Piper has got some Flopper. business to attend to. He does. And the indeed. plague bearers need to not fail morale. Yeah. And one or two, they're fine. That's the opposite of what I wanted. They do oh, fail morale. So I've got five left. Um, to note, if you're wondering, Tide of Banishment also gives me a six inch error of minus two leadership. Which is inconvenient, but with a roll of a six, it didn't matter. It didn't anyway. matter anyway. <laughs> any, more, any more run back to the warp? No. Oh, sweet. No. Just one uh, evaporates back to the warp and says, no, thank you. Not true. Now, Flopperty Bile Piper is going to unleash a disease of mirth <laughs> onto these Terminators. Yes. Uh, which means that they lose obsec. Which could, be, nice which could be huge, but unfortunately I'm not quite close enough to be holding that objective, which would have been pretty sweet because I would have then scored it in my yes. subsequent turn. But that is in effect until the next morale phase, so... Quite handy! Up in the next yeah! Um, that's it. How did you do for your card? Uh, I got extend battle lines, which is brilliant for me. Brilliant. Uh, investigate site is going into the bin. Goodbye. Um, I am going to hang on to bring it down, though, because okay. it's very exciting. Well, he is going to come out to play next <laughs> Bat around two, baby! Yee! Here we go. So, I've drawn my cards. I've got Deploy Teleport Homer, which normally is big pants, but I do have some stuff deep striking this You chat. do! Um, I've got No Prisoners, and I've got Bring It Down. And which is the Bring It Down target you have chosen? My Grand Master. I see. For he has the true name, Sean. Well, he's a jolly good fellow. He is indeed. Okay, well, that's cool. Right, a couple of things to do also. Slow, he's not going to do anything because his powers aren't going to do anything in this turn. So he's just going to go... <laughs> just to rally the troops. Fair enough. Um, we've then got my feculent normal that needs to do a couple of things. So you're in engagement range with my tree. Yes. And I, you take a mortal wound. Oh, okay. So on two to a five with his... Uh, I do take a mortal wound. Sickness blossoms. You take a mortal wound. Yeah. If it was a six, it would be D3. Oh, well, I'm taking a mortal wound. Yes. Um, so that's that. The other thing we need to do is to let the plague bells chime. Plague bells? Uh, for each one that's been destroyed with my plague bearers, Ooh. I roll a D6 for each of them that are dead, and on a six, they come back to life. Very cool. Chime! To come back. That's cool. Is that my thought? That's very cool. That's <laughs> nice. Well, I'll put them back in a minute. Oh, that was really hard. Um, <laughs> apart from that, that's it. I'm going to move on to my movement phase. 
The movement phase will begin with the beasts of Nurgle. They're going to come up here and give you a lovely cuddle. The Dark Master is unleashed. He moves forward to engage with these pathetic grey knights. Skittering out of the uh, dense, the soul grind's going to move over this way, just to get in a better position for latter turns. Blood has been spilt, and the blood letters come. Oh no. And for all the fans of Elden Ring, <laughs> Psychic face. Should mention that I got four warp storm points again this turn, which I'll be using at some point. At some point. But first, it's the psychic face. Okay. We're going to start off with a cheeky smite. Smite. Into your paladins. Paladins. Terminators. Just, they're just regular terminators. These guys. It's a nine. It's a nine. I will attempt to deny you. Okay. I am undeniable. I am. I, mean, I, do, I do not deny you. Da! One mortal wound. <laughs> I don't shrug it. Okay. Pantaloons. <laughs> right. Well, the other thing I'm going to do is betraying shades. Okay. Let's we'll see if it goes off first. A five. Well, bum. Um, I think if you want to try and cast it, I can still deny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a reroll because I want people to we see want to it in action. Stuff. Yeah. That's a five. No. Oh. <laughs> Shooting phase, we're gonna start off with the Bloodthirster. Yeah! Yes! So, there's a couple- We haven't seen him in ages! We're, I know! <laughs> so, uh, he's got two ranged attacks. We're gonna do his Hellfire Breath into the uh, Dread Knight over there. Yep. And his Blood Flail is going to go onto your uh, Terminator. Okay. Over there. Okay. I'm not gonna say what it does just okay. yet. Okay. I'll do the Hellbri Hellfire Breath first. So, Hellfire Breath is D6. It's four. Mm hmm Automatic hits. Very well. Uh, I'll be wounding you on fives and sixes. No wounds. Okay. Now it's time. So what's the strength of the breath? Five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's seven, six. Now it's time for the blood flail. Okay. I get one shot okay. with this. Can I hit you? Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to one. <laughs> I was going to say. So I do hit you. This is strength uh, times two. He's strength eight, so that's strength 16. Excellent. This is marvellous. Two, Sus. Just about. <laughs> Just about. So this is minus four and three D three damage. It's gone through. Three D three damage. And the damage oh! <laughs> And the damage spills over. So that's nine wounds across those terminators. No, 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 wait, I have to say three D three, so nine are dead. So right? just you just whoosh, whipped three <laughs> terminators out of existence. <laughs> oh that's cool. Woo! That was, that was intense. That was awesome. Yeah. Mark of the base and everything. Yeah, I, I didn't even God. think about it. 666. It's so cool. <laughs> right. Uh, the far less uh, powerful soul grinder now <laughs> is going to fire into your purifiers. So we'll start off with his uh, phlegm bombardment. Oh, he's keen. He doesn't want to be shown up. He's keen. He's like, hang on a minute. Uh, six shots hitting on threes. Well, now you've let yourself down. You've missed five times. <laughs> oh, what no. an idiot. <laughs> Jolly good. Right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, this will be twos to wound. It is a wound. Uh, be minus one with armor of contempt. It's damage three, so it's one of you dead. <laughs> Another one's dead. And then the harvester cannon. Six shots. Okay. And then this will be threes to wound this time at strength seven. Two wounds, if you please, at minus nothing. They love it. No harvesting for him. Are you harvested one guy? But with the phlegm. Oh yeah, I phlegmed him. He didn't get to use the high guess, yeah. Flim Sorry, phlegm. The charge face. We'll begin with the recently arrived blood letters over oh, there. Oh, poop ants. Ah! Um, because we have an icon bearer, I'm going to spend a command point on the banner of blood. Okay. Which means I get to roll 3d6 when making my charge and discard I'm, the lowest. I am going to overwatch. Because oh, please. I'm going to try and whittle their number down. I understand. I'm going to rapid fire, so we do get quite a few shots here. Mm. But obviously, you know, still need to actually hit you to do you, anything. You do need to actually hit me, that's, that's correct. That is how that works. Yes. Um, cool. Sweet. Right, cool. So we're hitting on sixes, but I will get to, uh, because you're demons, I still get to draw ones, which is well, nice. Well, that's nice for you. That's nice for me. So it's a good start. It is a good start. 
Oh, it's actually not too bad. Oh. Starting to believe. Oh. What is that? Six? One, two, three, four, seven? Yeah, that's actually remarkably good. The mark of Nurgle. Oh, no. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't see that one in the corner. Oh, there you go. Um, to wound you, what's your toughness, sir? My toughness is four. So I'll be wounding you on fours. Oh, that evened out a little bit. Um, Reroll re that one, because you are demonic. Um, that is cocked. There you go. Four um, wounds. Four wounds. Four wounds. I have a four-up invulnerable save. Demon save! One is dead. One is dead. You have done a kill on one of them. <laughs> well, that, well, that was worthwhile. <laughs> See if the banner of blood pays off. <gasps> blood! Oh, yes. On an 11, I think it does. <laughs> Uh-oh. Three more charges. Okay. So, Balakor is going to charge into your terminate. Okay. Because uh -huh. I don't trust my plague bearers to do the bits. On a he, six. He will. That'll do it. I'll move him in a minute. Uh, the beast will charge into your uh, terminators up there. They are keen for a cuddle. And then the bloodthirster into your dread knight. Okay. Big charge. Not oh, quite. okay. Not quite. That's right, he'll bide his time. He'll okay. just, just annihilate like a little demon bug on the floor. Or something. Yeah. Ooh, pff, cool. yeah. Let me move these in and we'll be back for the combat phase. Blood letters. Here we go. Oh. Um, difficult to know exactly where to start here because Bellicor is very, very good. Yeah. Still makes me quite nervous. Yeah. But they need to die. That objective is worth five points. And realistically, I, yeah, I'm less likely to do as well in those combats if I interrupted than over here. Yeah, so. you could interrupt and probably kill and them. do a yeah, bit yeah. of business, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope I kill them first. Uh, so we will attack you with my Hellblade! The Blade of Rao! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of power in the room in this game. It's very exciting. <laughs> uh, it'll be three... Uh, <laughs> the... Toughness four. Yeah, three three wound. Blood! <laughs> I've missed you quite a few times, that's fine. Uh, two, four, six, seven. Not quite eight I was looking for, for corn. Uh, but uh, um, um, I say four. Uh, yep. Yeah. I only killed three. So you killed three? Yeah. Oh, some blood, not lots. <laughs> the Beast of Nurgle. Beast of Nurgle. Big baby uh, bash time. <laughs> Well, I've done six mortal wounds already. That's nice. Because <laughs> they okay. do two mortal wounds on sixes. <laughs> to hit, that is right, isn't it? When I hit you, yes. So that's good. I have missed you a few times. Yeah, because nice. for those three, the attack sequence ends with those. Yeah, they, it's yeah. just the mortal wounds. Uh, and then I'll be wounding you on threes. <laughs> and, <whoa. laughs> six wounds at minus two. Six wounds at minus two. Yes. Ah! Uh, what's the damage on these? Damage two. Damage two. So one is d dead yes. and one is on a wound. He just yes. needs to make six shrugs of mortal wounds. I mean, just make the saves. He dead. Oh, okay. They are very much the, like yeah, picked up by the legs. Killed by one of them. <laughs> Bellacore, the blade of shadows. Just materialised in his hand. Yeah, you can see all this black mist. This is like, <laughs> oh, so cool. Very cool. Now, his warlord trait, interestingly, doesn't affect himself. It affects uh, Lee Journey's demonic core or disciples of Bellacore units. He is not a disciple of Bellacore, which actually makes sense. It does make sense. He's going to be a disciple of himself, isn't he? Unless it? he was really vain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's hitting on twos. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna, I'm gonna do them with a piercing strike. Okay. Okay. I, of course, I roll two ones. <laughs> I wish he was a disciple of Bellacore. It's his first day out. He's got yeah. stage fright. Uh, it's strength 12, so I'll be wounding you on two. <laughs> Three wounds. Now it's minus four, and I turn off your invulnerable saves. Good job, vulnerable You, you, you still have a five up save. Yeah. Um, three, you say? Uh, yes, I do. Knights of Titan! Alright, one, one save. One's okay. Two goes through. Well, it's D3 plus three damage, so I, I think two of them are dead. Yes, two are very dead, but two remain. Only two, okay. There you go. Yeah. Perhaps not tactically sound, but the Terminators here are going to put their attacks into Bellicor. Well, you only killed two of them. <laughs> they're, they're in range. They're like, is that it? Because while well, they've still got their rerolls to hit and to wound, may as well. Why not? Oh. To hit you, your minus one to hit, are you? Because you're shadow Minus one to hit, minus one to wound, and you can't reroll hits. 
I found I a wound as well. Yes. Well, colour me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll be hitting you on fours, re-rolling. Okay. You can't re-roll. Okay. Because of shadow form. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, kind of wish I'd gone for three pairs now uh, <laughs> to wound you. So your toughness seven. So I'm strength six. Mine looks like sixes. <laughs> <laughs> I can be around the wounds though. You can, uh, you can be around the wounds. Hammer hand. Yeah, you can be around the wounds. Oh, oh come on, it's two wounds. Six. Hello, hello. Uh, so four up in front of yeah. you. He takes his first couple I've of stabbed you in the shin. Damage two? Yeah. He's, he's, he's taking two wounds. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Plague bearers next. Plague bearers. They are absolutely overjoyed by the presence of Bellacore. Yeah. One of them um, points up and an arm falls off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they would have got the reroll hits because Bellacore couldn't put it on himself or anyone else. So, rerolling. Hitting on threes. Reroll these misses. Yeah. Okay, so we've got three sixes, so they automatically wound. Yes. And then I'll be wounding you on uh, fours. Yep. Rerouting ones for... Um, Floppity Mile Piper! Floppity Mile Piper! Uh, well, that didn't make too much of a difference. However, um, the sixes... Do... Nothing. So that is um, three... <laughs> Six, seven, eight wounds. I think they do nothing. Uh, minus Because yeah, you did the strat last time, didn't you? That's the one. Yeah. Uh, minus one, please. Eight wounds, you say? Um, I do I, say eight. I, uh, is that including, no, not including armor of contempt? Minus one. Yeah, it's minus one. So I have my two up saves. I no, no, it's minus one. So. Yes. Comprende. Comprendo. <laughs> you oh, so close again. You won is on a wound. So close to greatness. <laughs> We now come to the striped marines that are miraculously alive against the bloodletters. Miraculous. And they will banish you back to the war. Well, they've got a jolly good chance of doing so. Three! Um, oh, two, so I can't remember all those. Um, to wound you, what's your toughest? That's a great question. I'm pretty sure it's toughest four. The toughness is... <laughs> it's four. Okay, cool. So three, so wound. Three of those ones, because you are a demon. Um, okay, so that's four wounds at minus three. Okay. Uh, five up, demon save! I do make one. Um, flat damage two, so three are dead. Three are well dead. <laughs> Morale phase. Indeed. That's quite a bit to do. There is a fair bit. Because you're minus one leadership everywhere. Yeah, because of my demonic terror. I'm minus two leadership everywhere because of my tide of banishment. Yeah. Oh, so it's demonic terror. Basically, any uh, demon units have a six inch minus one leadership debuff. Which is cool. Um, so I will start the morale then, I suppose, with my Terminators, who, because yeah. you've got Bellicor there as well, they've got like a minus two to their leadership at the moment. Yeah, because he's the Lord of Torment. Very cool. Yeah. Um, Imagine that. What do you do for a living? I'm the Lord of Torment. Lord of Torment. Oh, wow. Um, so I need, if I get a, f a four plus, I fail morale on Grey Knight Terminators. Good. They're oh. okay. They're very brave. So brave. They're very brave. Isn't that so Bellicor's brave. like, Ugh. they're like, eh, eh. We only lost two and I stabbed you in the <laughs> shin. I <laughs> got you in the shin. <laughs> Go away. Um, but I also will need to do morale over here because yeah. of the minus one. Yeah. Um, <gasps> they do fail. Good grief. Five. Okay. So one flees, does the other. One or a two. Oh, it's fine. Fights to the bitter I'm end. I'm gonna leave the Justicar. card. What a just weapon. Holding, holding the line. Do they flee before his presence? So my, uh, I need a one. That's a six again. <laughs> the Justice cards. I've got set. five left, right? Yeah. Five left. No. Just just one okay. uh, dis dissolves into the wall. Absolute hero. <laughs> yeah, I know. What a, what a beast. Uh, that is everything I've got. Uh, your sloppy stuff? Oh, yes. So Disease of Mirth, I'm going to do one to those Terminators again, so they lose OBSEC. And interestingly, um, at the start of the next turn, which I guess we can do in a moment. Yeah, um, actually. On a two to five... We can do a mortal wound from the tree. So if he dies on one wound... <laughs> is your objective. Well, should we do that now? Because then it'll be my command phase. Well, I'll tell you, I'll do my cards first. No, I'll do that in a minute. Two to a five. Oh, okay. Can you shrug it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Suspense. No! Oh, no! Objectives contested! <laughs> Good grief! Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so um, bring it down I didn't get. Deploy teleport home I didn't get, but I'm... Uh, I'm going to keep it, because it will force okay. you to deal with them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll keep that for now. Uh, no prisons is, is ongoing. 
um, but I will keep bringing it down. Oh, I'll keep bringing it down. Okay. Because if you come fight me, I've got a chance. Okay, again. I'm also going to keep my bring it down. You're going to keep it as yeah. that one? <laughs> On face. Out of quick addendum, you actually scored no prisoners. I did! Yes. We didn't quite work out the points when we were talking before, but yes, I got um, over 30. You did Those indeed. terminators do certainly rack up yes. the points. Especially when you whip them real good. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I've got an interesting draw. So as we established earlier, bring it down is on Bellacore. Yep. I also then have secure No Man's Land, to which I have one objective in No Man's Land, but I need another. Yeah. And then Storm Hostile Objective. Yeah. So the um the Grey Knights are kind of pointed in a certain direction Looking at the moment. quite interesting over here. <laughs> quite interesting, yeah. yeah. An area of interest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we might have to explore that area of interest with smites and purifying flames and stabby stabs. <laughs> this two-man purifier unit is going to move up the hill this way to the objective. Cool. These purifiers are also moving forward to clear the way for some characters. Come on now, don't you surf down the hill. The paladins! Moving over this way. Mr. Bannerman, shut up, is going to move <laughs> up the hill. Yeah. The purifiers are moving this way to help deal with the blood letters. Crow, ready to head towards Bellacor, is told no by Drago. You must turn around and head this way to face off the oncoming hordes of demons. Drago, however, will turn face his destiny. The Terminators are then also going to head up the hill, stay, <laughs> to deal with the Beast of Nurgle. This Grey Knight is going to fall back, just over to here, and the Grand Master is going to move forwards. Psychic phase. Um, the play is going, is go, we're going big this turn. I feel like on the battlefield, Drago looks up and can see Velikor, and he's like, now brothers, now! And it's like, they were like, put the mission! He's like, now! Like, <laughs> he's got his name on a list of demons he used to slay. Hang on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> um, I'm getting very powered up and I'm very excited. Um, so, uh, to start the powers, the Grandmaster Dread Knight is going to do Empiric Amplification. Before you do, uh, I'm going to do Insidious Whispers again. Is that the uh, perils on the old doubles? Double, doubles, doubles of perils. <laughs> Double trouble, eh? Yeah, which would be everyone, pretty much. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, go hard, go hard or go yeah. hard. Go for, hence from all from the warp. So Empiric Amplification on to Bellacore. Okay. Um, this needs to go off on a seven. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. It is a seven. It is a seven. And this gives you extra damage, isn't it? This is Nemesis and Psy weapons getting extra damage. <sighs> and then he's trying to deny that. Mm, yeah. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Balakor! Oh, oh, he he's does. Done it on an eight. He also, does the eightfold path, and it's a doubles, <laughs> which means nothing, but it's cool anyway. <laughs> I love that that's Corden's number as well, like scored a sorcery. It's like, yeah, no. yeah. Um, cool. Uh, now the pain train. Um, the paladins <laughs> know two powers; they can switch between. They know armor's roots, but also no purifying flame. Oh, that's nice. Because it's all purifies. So they're going to cast that onto um, Bellacor. Okay. Um, does it go off? <gasps> it's a super purifying flame. Is that a thing? Off an 11, yeah. Oh. So it's 3 plus D3 mortal wounds. Oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Um, so 3 mortal wounds plus. One, okay. Four, okay. So there's four mortal wounds all to right. Bellacor. Yeah, I don't. he doesn't shrug mortal wounds or anything, I don't think. So he's down to 14 wounds. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, we then move over to Drago. <laughs> so, oh, um, he's going to cast Vortex of Doom. No. Um, and then he is going to cast a Smite. Okay. Vortex of Doom. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine. It does go off. Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, it's six bottles. Six! <laughs> Two D3. Oh! <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm down to eight. He's getting battered. Uh, you'll be pleased to know that. Oh, oh, no, there is a smite. I did declare oh, yeah, a smite. Don't forget your smite. Five, six, seven. Seven. It does go off. Damage. It's two. Oh, you got six wounds left. So you'll be pleased to know that's all Just the powers. Did 12 mortal wounds. That's all the powers that are going into him, though. 
that's the most of my powers into Velocor. We were pleased to know. Thank you. <laughs> um, we now do the Purify Pain Train. Um, the Purifiers at the back are going to try and Purify the Beast and Nurgle. Okay. Um, because I get plus one to cast, and I've already cast one, this normally goes on a six, it'll be a five. Very nice. Just. That's that does go on a five. The damage! Oh, it's flat three. Sorry. So I have three wounds on your okay. beast. Um, the next Purifier squad will do the same. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> What just happened? Um, I have cast a super purify, but I have also suffered perils of the fourth. Okay. Um, so that is three plus d3. Right. Oof. Okay, so six more wounds. Okay. But how many you, um, you don't, it's just still, it's just d, you don't do anything to add mortals to perils, do you? At this just stage. Just d3. Just d3. Yeah. I do lose a purifier in the Good. process. Good! Um, but I have killed a beast of Nurkle. You have. <laughs> They're powering up today. <laughs> you do need to check if you shrug those mortal wounds, James. Oh yes, of course. Um, I shrug two. So actually, I don't need to purify. Oh good. There okay. We go. <laughs> I think part of it was just trying to make it less horrific. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> the, it's going well. Um, the Brotherhood Ancient will cast a smite into the beast of Nurgle. Okay. Um, he will need a six. Oh, no. I do suffer a peril there, another <laughs> um, but you take one mortal wound, okay. I take three, three. mortal wounds, one for can you. I shrug those? Um, I shrug one! Stop so shrugging them! The Ancient takes two mortal wounds, <laughs> I'll mark that up. Uh, the Paladins then, yes. oh he's, how many wounds have he got left? Four. He's got three left. No, four left. Four left. Oh, left. so unless I get a super smite here, I can't kill him and he will regenerate. Yeah. Now, you've wounds. had enough super smites in one turn, so, so no more, thank you. <laughs> the Terminator is in the Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, nearly, it's not. It's fine. It's, it is just a regular smite. There's okay. no perils. It goes up on a seven. It does three mortal wounds. So he's down to one. But it matters not! But they all come back. <laughs> At the end of the turn. Oh, so I love this. He's actually lost the end of no the phase, mortal yeah. wounds. End of, oh, end of the amazing. Phase, yeah. We move now over to this corner of the board. Um, I've cast quite a lot of powers already. So this is one of the best psychic phases I've ever seen. <laughs> so the warp charge values are quite high. It's like Paul Daniel's magic show <laughs> over here. Just whip out the map. Yeah, and the, the audience is dead. <laughs> <laughs> so the, <laughs> the uh, Strike Reed's going to try and cast a smite into these guys. He will need an eight. Which is the mark of corn, so you automatically fail. Or not. <laughs> yeah. Super smite, is it? Very good. Yeah, it is. Ah, but does he die? I mean, if he dies, does it go off? That's very true, actually. Okay. He does die. Okay. Oh no, I can shrug. I don't shrug. Okay. So he, he dies. Okay. He just explodes. I went off on an eight, and then he dies. It went, it went, Paul <laughs> enjoys that. Well, look, went off. It went off on twelve. He the barrels, and he died. So. Oh yeah, well, I'm talking about eight. Because you. Corn. 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 Yeah. The demons have infected our minds. Oh, you needed an eight. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, do you go. He explodes. He explodes. He explodes. Yeah. So, yeah. Is it D3 mortal wounds onto yeah. them anyway? Well, you got kind of what you wanted. <laughs> one more wound. Come on. All right. One is dead. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. Uh, crow. There, I suppose. Okay. Uh, we'll try. within six. Oh, okay. nine, nine inches of the. No, with the explosion. Oh, it's within. Does he does he get <gasps> exploding as well? He might get a little bit of explosion on him. His little mate. <gasps> he does. Oh, okay. okay. Castell and Crow. Big three. Oh, oh it's big three. <laughs> God, bits of grey light. Oh, all his visor. He's white. <laughs> his perfectly white helmet clean. And uh, there he goes. That <laughs> doesn't cast his. I'm surprised. Thing. There we go. <laughs> that was a lot, wasn't it? <laughs> the um. We're in the warp, it's all gone crazy. <laughs> uh, the grey lights on the hill. Um, uh, the, of course they're grey lights. The two purifiers, one with the Stormbot and one with the incinerator, is going to shoot into the Beast of Nurgle. Very good. We'll start with the incinerator. Get three shots. Okay. Which isn't too bad. Um, to wound you, uh, I can reroll the ones because you are a demon. Um, you are toughness six, aren't you? So it's only one wound. Okay. Demon save! Yes. Oh, okay. Um, the Storm Bolter. Um, I can figure all those ones, because you want to wound. Okay. Um, to, you're not minus one to hit or anything on these? Nope. Nope. To wound you. Uh, one singular wound. Demon save! Oh, it does go through. So yeah, it's lost just, one wound. Just one wound so far. Um, cool, we'll move on to the next purifier squad. I do, they're all going to shoot into the same target. Okay. The two incinerators. Uh, 11 shots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 10, 11. 
Um, okay, we roll that one. Okay, not too bad actually. Yes. Um, uh, four, five, six. Six. Yes. Yeah, he's definitely six. Yes. <gasps> Two uh, saves. Uh, it's good. Yeah. Okay. He's only lost two wounds. Two wounds. Okay, yeah. he's down to four. Four. Right. The incidental storm. I say incidental. The storm is from the squad. Okay. Um, they aren't all in rapid four fire. Four wounds to go. Oh, hello. Why is in rapid fire? The other two are not. One in rapid fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> four sixes. What's happening to you? I don't you really go. know. <laughs> Okay, t- um, two wounds there. Okay. <gasps> Demon save! One goes through. Um, and then the stun from the other guys. Ah, uh, girl, that hit. Okay, fine. Um, they hit you twice to wound you. Ah, um, no. Okay, cool. That's it. How many wounds has he got left? Anything else shooting him? Yeah, right, a little bit. <laughs> the Terminators now. Um, uh, three of them can see the Beast of Nurgle. <laughs> Try and finish him off before he comes back. Uh, and the two are going to do some pot shots at the uh, Bloodthirst. Okay. Uh, the Beast of Nurgle. The Beast. The Beast, re roll those ones. The Beast, the Beast. The Beast. Oh, oh. that was lame. <laughs> that was a six. It's meant to be. Um, cool. To wound you now. Um, okay, two wounds. Two wounds? Yes. Okay. David save! I make one. How many wins he got left? Two. <laughs> okay. Um, the um, store bolters are into the bloodthirster. Okay. Um, root and two and good shoot in there. He hasn't got a minus one to hit or anything, has he? No. Very well. To wound you will be Very sixes. Uh, a singular wound. A single wound. He's enraged. Wait a minute, what's his... I'm presuming it's a four. <gasps> Demon save! Oh, he cares a lot for Storm oh. Bolters. <laughs> the Grandmaster now is going to have to shoot the Beast in the Ugle. Yeah. I need it dead. <laughs> uh, I could obviously charge it, but if I don't make the charge, it's just a whole thing. Yeah. I just, I, I, I want it dead. And it's yeah. at two, four, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the and side it, cannon... will be back up to seven moons. Exactly, like, if I don't kill him now, I just, I need it dead. So the side cannon's going to go there, and the silencer's going to go into the Plague Bearers. Okay. <laughs> hit it on twos. He seems keen. Good hittings. To wound you. This is the beast? Yes. Okay. Okay, we roll the one. Okay. So it's four wounds there. Four wounds. Four for up demon save. <laughs> demon saves! Oh, oh, so close! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I mean, you could do it. Because realistically, the interrupt isn't really going to help me, so I'm going to have to do it. Okay! The beast! <laughs> Demon save! Oh, yes! <laughs> He's still alive! No. He's going to get all his wounds back! No! <laughs> the silencer into the flag bearers. <laughs> his heart's uh, just... They're minus one to hit because of the tree. His heart's just not in it anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fine. Blah, blah, blah. I go around the one. He's just shooting to pieces. He's just reforming. It's like, yeah. oh god. Oh, why? Uh, so he does miss with a few. Okay. No, but he's still alright. He has done. I say his heart isn't in it. He seems very keen still. <laughs> um, to wound your toughest five, aren't you? Yeah. I'm strength five. So yeah. Um, go that one. That's nice rolling. That tide of banishment is quite handy. Really still. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> um, six. Th- yeah, six wounds. Demon save! Well, I fail five, so that's not good. <laughs> uh, these, damage? these are only um, damage one. Okay. Because the Imperial Amplification was so, on. So, uh, one, two, three, four, so... Oh, no, three are dead because one has lost a wound. Oh, well, there you go. Um, so, you, there, there are, 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 there are four left. Oh, right. Oh. Thankfully, I remembered a few other weapons I have. Okay. <laughs> Drago is going to shoot his storm bolter at this piece of Nagel. Okay. Embarrassed now because the dice is banished when he's hit you all the time. He has wounded you twice. Two wounds, is it? Two wounds. Demon save! No! <laughs> he is. He's so succumbed. close. Uh, does he explode? I'm forgetting that. He doesn't explode. Doesn't explode. But he is dead. Very well. Um, did the other one explode? No, he didn't. Oh, fair enough. No, he didn't. Oh, fair enough. No. There we go. Um, also, it tells that I did do the shrugs for Crow. So he's got three of his range, just in case you all missed that. Last thing to shoot. Um, the paladins are going to shoot the plague bearers. Okay. The um, Seems a bit unkind. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> 
Um, okay, so you are minus one to hit. So they oh, are yes. weapon skill two, they're not ballistic skill two, so I do drop a few. Um, to wound you. Five. Wound fives. Dilla, 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 dilla. One, two wounds. One, two wounds. One, two wounds. Demon save! My demon saves are running out. You have killed one more. Very well. Yes. Right, I believe all that's left to do is some charges. Ooh. Got pivotal this. <sighs> the Grand Master is going to charge Bellacourt. Okay. He does indeed make well, it he's, in. He's nice and close, so that's... The Paladins! Yes. We're going to try to make it in. They need a it, six, I It would I be believe. nice if they don't make it. Okay. They very much it. do make it. Okay. Draco. Oh, I really need him to not make it. He doesn't make it! <laughs> oh, that's big, that is! That's quite big! <laughs> um... <laughs> The Grandmaster yeah. is going to open proceedings. Okay. So, minus one to hit. Yep. Minus one to wound. Yep. No rerolls. Yep. And you minus damage by one. My shallow form. No, that's with the range attacks. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Six attacks, hitting on three. Okay. I can't reroll anything, can I? So, time about. Oh! Okay. You want to get twice? You want to get twice? <laughs> okay. Force to wound. Okay, only wounds you want. Wounds. Okay. 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 You'll save. Demon save! Oh, he makes the <laughs> save! Oh, <laughs> miracle! Oh, oh baby, please! Oh, you can just see Drago doesn't make a chart. You can just see, like, the Nemesis great will be like cut in half. He's, He's like, like, oh, oh. like, no! Oh. No! <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> the Paladins now. This is all too stressful. Yes, I know, Steve. It's it is like, really what's stressful. What's happening, my lord? Okay. Now, we're hitting you on threes because these are demon hammers. Okay. I can't do any rerolls. Uh, a lot of hammers. It's a lot of hammers. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, it's about right. It's about right. It's all very stressful. Uh, now, these are strength eight. Okay. So, and you're tough for seven. So normally we'd be winning with threes, but we're winning with fours because you're minus one to wound. Yes. Yes. Okay. How many? Only four. Four. Okay. Oh, can I? I can reroll. I, I can reroll wounds. You can reroll wounds. Yeah. It's a tide of banishment. Those four ones could be a problem. Yeah. One okay. More. So five. Five. Yes. <laughs> Dragon save. Oh, pants. Oh, no. Oh, he's, no, he's, no. Oh, wait, I have a command point. Demon save! Yes! Oh, he he lives! Lives! He lives! Oh, no! Ah! Oh, he is actually dead. <laughs> <laughs> damage three. Yeah, yeah, damage three. The demon hammers. He's dead now. Poor old Bellacor. <laughs> I mean, he took him with him. I mean, as newly painted mortal syndrome go goes, he is okay. quite a nicely painted he's little beautiful. fella. So he, 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 it was his destiny it to was. sort of not do anything in this yeah, first game. It was classic. So now he'll go in the bin. Thank Absolutely. you, Fetcher, for painting him, but... Yeah, sorry, dude, but... Never again. It happens. Crow! He's going to try and finish off these blood letters. Okay. Uh, six attacks. Uh, hit your twos. Please hit your dimes. That is nice. Um, oh, it's a six to hit. Let me quickly consult the term for power. I want to check okay. it's a six to hit, or is it a six to wound? Unmodified wound roll. We'll come to that in a minute. Okay. Um, because I've given him the hammer of righteousness, um, he gets plus one to his wound roll on the charge. Oh, most so righteous. He's strength five right now, and your toughness four. Oh. So we'll be winning you on twos. Yes. Okay. Well, he gets one six. So I have wounds you all the time. So that six is D three mortal wounds in addition. <laughs> okay. Because um, despite the fact that he's got a demon sword, it's killing demons quite well. <laughs> Pick your allegiance sword. Um, I've saved three. Uh, but three go through. And then the D so, the yeah. D three mortal Just wounds. Just roll a one or a two and that would be great. Oh, thank you. It's one! Okay! One left. <laughs> well now, for his hubris, <laughs> the Blood Reaper is going to finish him all. Okay. Okay. I hit you once so I can't kill him. <laughs> I do wound you. Does a six do anything? No. Minus two. Mi mi minus one. No, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> Morale. Yes. Well, I think they're all thinking about just disintegrating into the warp at this stage. That's, that's quite horrific. That psychic it? phase was, was mad. Was, was a lot. Yes. Um, so a bit of morale. So over here, my plague bearers. Are they okay? 
No, another six. That's three sixes in a row for morale. So one flees, the other one uh, doesn't flee because um, of the icon, which is nice. And then over there, the Lone Ranger fighting Crow. He's actually okay. okay. Very interesting. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Um, well, how did you do with cards? Um, yeah, that went better than expected. Yes, it did. <laughs> um, so to, to, uh, bring it down has been achieved. Has it? Miraculously. That's good. Um, I have then got secure no man's land and I stormed the hostile objective. You certainly did. So I have got all three of those. Yes, you do. Is not insignificant. Okay. Um, does anything over here have obsec? Um, these guys do, but these guys are just regular. They're just regular, regular, regular fellas, are they? Regular fellas. Stephen's trying to tell me something. And he's trying to tell me. Okay, so um, the floppity is going to put his endless mirth, whatever it's called, onto the Terminator so they lose obsec. Very well. Yeah, it makes sense. In case it makes any difference in the next turn. Play. Um, that's the end of the battle round. Um, yes. I don't have much left. So we'll have to see what happens. It's not over. It's not. Demonic Rift has made its way onto the field of Tempest. Yes. So, um, Deployed Tempest Homer is still in play, and yep. I can get that because I've still got a unit of blood letter to come. You do indeed! Yeah. Very nice. Um, I drew Extend Battle Lines, and conveniently, because I have little fella down there, he he's the only thing that's obsec in that area. So yep. you just go, hello. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, my tree didn't bring back any uh, pox, uh, pl uh, plague bearers with his chimes this turn, but never mind. Um, and aside from that, oh, I spent a command point to get rid of bring it down. Yes. So bring it down target was him. He's unlikely to kill the Grandmaster in Dread Knight armor by himself. <laughs> so I spent a command point to redraw it, redraw it, and I got capture enemy outpost, which is actually very doable. Yeah, because if I if I can uh, if I can just scoot off, he just with, falls by that way. Him, he nicks it. Yeah. Right under Crow's nose! Let's get in. <laughs> right, so my Lone Ranger is going to make his way over here and secure this objective. It'll be his last dying wish. Uh, Thoppity Bar Piper is going to come back over this way. And then my uh, Soul Grind is going to just scoot around this way to protect him and to show everyone his lovely buttocks. <laughs> blood for the Blood God! So as we discussed, this Blood Letter is going to go over here, falling back from Crow and taking that objective. And then over here, a demonic rift appears as the blood letters spew forth from the warp. Bloodthirster. Oh, there he is. Oh, hello. We're going to soften him up before we go in for combat. Fair um, enough. So we'll start off with his hellfire breath. I get the big six. Okay. That's a good start. Six smelly breaths. Uh, I'll be winning you on fives and sixes. Yes. I do wound you twice. This okay. Is minus <laughs> Minus two. I save one, the other one goes through. How much damage? Just the one. Just the one, so he's got 12 wounds remaining. Blood flail. <gasps> Hits. Last time it's a hit. The blood flail, uh, what's his toughness? Six. Okay. The blood flail is a wound. Minus four. Saves <sighs> Have to be combat then! <laughs> <laughs> Last bit of shooting. Okay. The soul grinder. Soul grinder. Uh, so we'll start off with the phlegm bombardment into your purifiers. Very well. I get one shot and I miss you. But then we have the harvester cannon. <laughs> Harvest, my son. Okay. Harvest, my boy. Oh, four wounds, uh, but no AP because of armor contempt. Uh, one is dead. One is dead. Couple of charges. Yes. The Bloodthirster. Bloodthirster. Blood, 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 blood. Just about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the Soul Grind is going to charge into your Purifiers and your Lone Paladin over there. Yes. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he he's a big boy. Yeah, yeah, he'll make good. that. Yes. Lovely. Stop, stop, stop. Right, I should also mention that the uh, Bloodthirsters over there are doing Deploy Teleport Homer. Yes. So uh, let's move him in and get into some combat. Bloodthirsty. Blood thirsty. He thirsts blood! Thirsty. The axe of corn. Okay. Well, I've dropped a couple, but that's fine. okay. That's okay. I'm wounding you on twos. Yes, because, indeed. Um, strength uh, 12 with his axe. Indeed. Lovely. Yeah. Two, four, six wounds at minus four, if you please. So this will be on my Nemesis 4 shielding. Yes. Um, I drop four. Okay. Could be a pickle. What's the damage on this? D6. Elf blended. <laughs> corn! Uh, that one's cocked. Got... Yeah! 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 wounds. On the nose! But 
also, just, I know he's dead already, but on a but two, do, yeah. on a two plus, I did, ah, oh, so annoying. <laughs> on a two plus, he's a D3 extra mortal wounds because of his relentless carnage, but apparently he's already dead. <laughs> he's already dead. <laughs> Soul grinder time. Oh yeah. Uh, so we've got two attacks with his warp sword. Now this is a malefic weapon, which means that you do additional attacks on top of his normal attacks. Oh, very cool. Which is very cool. Um, so I'll be doing that into your Terminator and then my iron claw will be snapping into your purifiers. Purifies. Makes sense. The warp sword. I hit you twice. The sixes mean nothing, but they should mean something. Um, this will be, what are you on twos? Sixes mean nothing. Uh, that is two wounds at minus three, but minus two for you, for you are contemptuous. I save one, fail one. D3 plus three, so he's dead. He's very dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we've got five attacks with the iron claw. Snip, snap, snip. How did you say malefic works? You get extra attacks on yeah, top so of Yeah, so I've it. got my iron claw, which is five of my base attacks. Yeah. And then I also have a malefic weapon, which grants oh. you an additional amount of attacks. Oh, lots that's of cool. demons have got like multiple Oh, weapons. so it's, they can fire both weapons. That's yeah. I didn't understand how that works. It's very cool. Uh, and then this will be on twos again because it's strength eight. Okay, so three wounds at minus two for you. Um, you kill two. Okay. Oh, you well, it's damage? D6 damage. Oh wow, okay. First one. No, I only got one. <laughs> Do I? I'll use my command. Yeah, why not? Yeah, because absolutely. Otherwise that's lame. Yeah, you could do. What's left of the Purifier Squad will get to fight back. <laughs> um, the Justice Car, the sword. Um, okay, I can reroll that. Okay, so he hits you twice. Yes. King, um, king. To wound you will be sixes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two sixes, is it? Two sixes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they fail both. I roll two ones. <laughs> You're two sixes. Marvelous. That's four damage somehow. Marvelous. Four. Uh, because two damage each on the sword. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, we've got twelve moves left. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> the the purifiers with their, their guns are gonna butt you with their rifles. Okay. Um. Okay. Fine. <laughs> they wound. Other wound. Dang on. Th <laughs> 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 what is going on? There's no way on this, but there is three wounds. <laughs> I lose three more wounds. <laughs> no, no, I lose two more wounds. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well. So they, they did six wounds to a soul grinder, oh. these, these marines. Good. Uh, uh, Good. Yeah, they do fall apart a bit in combat, the old demons. I mean, I mean that said, that was stupid. I, I mean, mean, you did roll a lot of sixes, sixes. and I rolled a lot of ones. <laughs> it's wild. Like a clown. <laughs> That's fine. So, in terms of my secretary, though, I did get 15 points. Oh, wicked! So, I deployed my teleport home with my blood yeah. letters, I secured, captured the enemy outpost with my single single lady, uh, and then I've extended my battle lines with my single plague bearer. I found so. a mistake that actually pulls you quite ahead in the old points. Well, that's nice. I don't have much left, so I'm going to try and hold on with my teeth and claws and horns. Okay. Draw my cards. This game is mental. This has been absolutely bananas. Going this is on. absolutely insanity. Boy, We're in the war. Boy, Nothing yeah. makes sense anymore. Oh, uh, cool. Cards wise, as you battlefield supremacy, grind them down and defend stronghold. Nice, good draw. Um, my stronghold is not currently defended because of this this <laughs> little demon. <laughs> so Crow's gonna have to deal with that. Um, but other than that, let's see what I do in the movement phase. The only other thing to say is Drago will put hits and hit his reroll hits onto himself because he's got a plan. Drago. Not Drago, Crow needs to defend his stronghold. These purifiers are going to move this way to also shore up the stronghold. He's dead now. <laughs> the Paladins are moving in to deal with the lone plague bearer. Um, and the Grand Master is moving to deal with this giant beast. The purifiers are falling back up the hill to bolster the objective and away from this monster. They're falling up that hill to make a deal with oh, demons. demons. <laughs> the Ancient is moving up towards the eyeball to pierce the flag into it. Um, and then these Terminators are just going to move this way to may potentially make a charge with the Ruin. We start the Psychic Phase with the Grand Master. 
who's going to cast Gate of Infinity on Drago. Oh, no. I'm going to spend a CP on Psychic Challenge, so I cast this on 3d6, um, just to make sure it goes off. Well, there's, there's insidious whispers everywhere, so any perils will make you do this, the stuff. On the me. devils! Yes. Okay, um, so I'll cast it. That does go off. Ooh, where's he going? We'll find Ooh. out in a minute. <laughs> the paladins are going to smite the tree, um, because they want to fight the flame bearer. What a weird thing to say. Uh, they do indeed smite the tree. They do. Um, the damage ooh, is one. Okay. Chipping away at that tree. The tree is uh, more survival than survival. on my side. And Bellicor. <laughs> the purifier on his own that hasn't fallen back will attempt to purifying flame the soul grinder. Okay. One man demolition army. <laughs> oh, that was a double zone. <laughs> I thought that was a It doesn't go off. Um, flat three damage. Okay. The Brotherhood Ancient is then going to attempt to smite into the soul grinder. How many wounds he got left? Who? The ancient. Two. Okay. okay. Dangerous. Oh. <laughs> um, that does go off because I've only cast one other smite and that was successful. The damage is two. Okay. Five ways left. Potentially very dangerous because you've got a special ability. I do. But Drago's going to try some, cast some powers against your um, Bloodthester. Yes. Who has the Rude of Brass. Rude of Brass. So any doubles are of perils, but for D6 mortal wounds. Yes! <laughs> yes! Okay, right. Ooh. So he's gonna try Vortex of Doom. Okay. Doesn't go off. Doesn't go off? Okay. Uh, he's, he's gonna try a smite. Okay. Dangerous, dangerous business. That also doesn't go off. Doesn't go off? No. Oh. Because I've cast two already, so that doesn't go off. So. Mm, master okay. Psycho. <laughs> Shooting phase, um, really quick one because I want to go straight into the charging because it's more fun. <laughs> uh, the paladins uh, are going to shoot out the plague bearer. Okay. Need one more dice. He is minus one test, isn't he? Uh, he is. Um, it's all the foliage around the, 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 the feculent narmor. The old tide of banishments come up quite a lot today. Yes. It's almost like it's good at slaying demons. Well, they are, they are certainly banishing. That's the thing. Yeah. Um, to wound you will be five and sixes because the top is five, are you not? I am. Look at that. Three uh, wounds? Uh, yes, three wounds. Three wounds. Could he survive? Demon save! No, he's really dead. <laughs> he's he's really, really finished dead. Finished off. Well, it looks like that tree is about to get a hammering. <laughs> charge phase. A Grandmaster is going to charge the Soul Grinder. Okay. He's very much in. Yeah. Drago. He's got quite a charge to make here. Can he make it? Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. The number of corn. He hasn't. God bless you, my son. God bless oh, you. Oh, do I? Do I? I? We're throwing caution to the wind with the whole CP rerolls, aren't we, today? He must be in on an eight. No, he said deep strike, so he has to be. Oh, pants. Anyway, so I'm going to try yeah, the Yeah, do it. Hey! Oh, he's going to get <laughs> He probably is. <laughs> We'll start with Crow. I should say Crow and the Paladins literally couldn't fail their charges, so Crow's going to the Blood Letter and the Paladins went into the tree. We'll get yes. to that in a minute. We're going to start with Crow! Okay. He's going to try and decapitate this Blood Letter. Come on, Captain Crow. Castellan to you, demon. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, to wound you. Are you charged? We do. Okay, so he's done two um, D3 mortal wounds in addition. No, he's dead. <laughs> he's very dead, isn't he? <laughs> Time to uproot this tree. My tree. My garden. Your trees. Been ruined. I don't like your garden. You're like a demonic Alan Titchmarsh and I won't have it. <laughs> Poor Alan. Um, it's up to seven. <laughs> up to seven, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alan Titchmarsh. I love you, man. Um, that is <laughs> four. Thank you, Five. Titchmarsh. <laughs> <laughs> that is for fucking the archdemon for Titchmarsh! <laughs> What's the damage? Three. Oh, he's dead. Oh, you no. killed him in Titchmarsh! Oh no! You monster! <laughs> you condemned him back to the demon world! <laughs> back, Titchmarsh! Back! The true name shard! It's like just he, throwing he trails pulls, at you! Demon out, trail! What's that true name shard? Alan Titchmarsh! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> The Grandmaster in Nemesis Dread Knight is going to try and finish off the Soul Grinder. Yes. Uh, he's hit you all the times, which is a jolly good start. How's he now? You are tough. List nine, though. Nine! I'm strict ten, so it will be threes. Oh, pants. <laughs> uh, the way I built that up was. 
has made quite the difference, though. Right. Um, three wounds, good sir. Demon save. I make one, two go through. Is What's the damage? D6 damage on the almighty strikes. Okay. Well, he's dead. Is he dead? Does he explode? I don't know, maybe. Ah! No. Nope. Ah. It's going to... <laughs> Drago! Is now going to have a pop at the blood first. Okay. Yeah, it might be foolish because I can only do eight wounds to my face. Look at, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty epic. Let's yeah. make sure. Let's turn him this way. <laughs> face me, demon. Oh. Face me, demon. Face me, tick marsh. Seven attacks. Hang on, two. You haven't got any minuses to hit or anything, have you? What? No. Okay, cool. Well, I've hit you all the times. Um, to wound you um, will be through fours. Yeah, it's toughness eight. Toughness eight. Junky monkey. Um, okay, right. Uh, three, four, f no, four wounds. Four wounds? Oh, I ignore, sorry. What? My warlord trait, I'm demon slayer, so I ignore invulnerable saves. Okay, never mind. Um, well, this is a, does this count as an invulnerable save? Oh, that's a good point, actually. Uh, instead of a normal save, uh, it has a demonic save characteristic. Oh. So it's not an invulnerable save. Okay. Let's say he... He ignores it anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't look into the intricacies of that. Short um, so he's, he's done his quota. Right. Well, I can only take eight wounds. Yeah, he's, he because I'm an exalted bloodthirster. He certainly did twelve, but you can only take eight. You can only take eight because of my indomitable onslaught. Um, I do believe you can now punch him back. I quite do believe I'm going to annihilate him now. Oh dear. So he's, you've done eight wounds. So does he I, get angrier? Uh, well, I've not been degraded yet. Oh, okay. Because of your pathetic Titchmarsh sword. <laughs> <laughs> the Trowel of Oblivion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, it's twos to wound you. Yes. <laughs> Two, <laughs> okay. four, six, seven. Ah, oh, it's not quite eight. That's annoying. That's annoying. Uh, see how good that old shield is he's got on. <laughs> uh, Do you yeah. ignore vulnerables? No. no. Mine's four, but... We saved all but one. <laughs> He's got a three up save? Yeah. Oh, what's his, how many wounds he got? Um, seven. Seven? The yes. damage <gasps> is six. He's got a wound left. Got one wound <laughs> left. Does he do mortal wounds in addition? <gasps> oh yeah, on a two plus with his relentless oh. carnage. <laughs> oh, beard. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? It's not me! It's him! <laughs> it's not me! I'm not Beard anymore! <laughs> I'm the demon from within! <laughs> End of my turn! I got Battlefield Supremacy, which yes. is good. I've got four points for grinding them down, which is ongoing, and I'm I've sort of defending my stronghold, but you do have some spiteful demons near me. Yes. Oh. You should get grind. In theory, yes. I think. <laughs> it could, could be quite possible. <laughs> um, but um, what, it's your command phase. Yes. yes. So I've already drawn my cards. So uh, I've got behind enemy lines, I've got raise banner, um, and I did have uh, defense, no, I had- Hold the hold line. line. Hold the line, which I got rid of with my command point for this turn, I got defense stronghold instead. So not a bad draw. Very good draw. It's gonna be a very, very quick Pretty turn. turn. <laughs> okay. Floppity Bob, I present, see ya fellas. <laughs> not for me, see ya later, Bob. <laughs> The blood letters will advance towards Crow. They want their demon sword back. No. Not having it. <laughs> Josh faced. <laughs> okay. Blood letters into Crow. Give us our sword back. Yes. Yes. They're in. Uh, that is literally it. He's already in combat. We've just discussed the whole like demon save thing. Yeah. I've had another look. Demon saves can't be modified in any way, but his ability only affects demons. demons. Yeah. So for this game, was we presume it's going to be FAQ'd at some point. Yeah. He has taken his eight. Whether points. or not they'll change the wording in the ground to say ignore demonic saves or I something, think. it's just that interaction's a bit weird. Yeah. But yeah. he should be able to kill a demon. It's this whole thing. Drago, for this whole say. thing. <laughs> Let me move the bin. I'm going to kill kill Crow. Okay. Right. <laughs> Scam. Oh yeah, the nerdlings have raised the banner. <laughs> uh, the banner's I... made of pants. Is that in your deployment zone? Yeah, I can't do that, can I? No. No, never mind. <laughs> They've still raised the banner <laughs> of pants. Be that guy. Yeah, they have. <laughs> That's just... That's Get out of doing. here! Right, blood letters into Crow. That's gone well. We only missed you four times. That's gone very well. Yeah. 
Give us our sword back. Um, and then I am wounding you on fours. Yes. No, I'm wounding you on threes, they're strength five. Ooh! It goes in a bit of a pickle here. That's got... Three, <laughs> six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15 wounds at minus two. Two, four, six, eight. Give us our sword back! I think the demon inside the sword is like, oh, I want to go with them. It's like, no! Please stop shackling me inside this blade. I've seen so many things. <laughs> oh, that's all nice. Um, sorry, this is you're 12, you say? What? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wounds. Yeah, I think so. Is he dead? No, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. But! He got, he got shanked. He has... A and got boxed. He has heroic sacrifice. Ooh. So if he is killed and he has not yet fought, he gets to fight on death. Very cool. I imagine he's got all these swords in him. Yeah. And they're like, give us the sword, give us the sword. He's like, no. And just keeps like, his eyes go purple and he like, gives in to the sword's power. <laughs> uh, right, cool. Uh, here you go, twos. Um, That's gone tons. well. It's a good start. Yes. Um, he still gets the plus one to wound because he has been charged. Twos. Dos to wound. Can we roll because you are demonic? Which is good. Um, How many? Uh, six. Six, you say. And D3 mortal wounds in addition. <laughs> Demon safe. Oh, I do make three. Well. I do make three. Do I do make three? three. The mortal wounds? It's two. So he, uh, he's killed five. Whoa! As he's cut his soul stab, he's like. <laughs> there you go. It's like. Gandalf versus the Balrog. Oh, it's, yes, it is. In it? space. <laughs> in space. <laughs> um, I can't re roll that because we are a demon. Intro one. Very oh. well. That sounds right for my hubris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to wound you. I can't re roll that because you are a demon. Okay, so. I've wounded you four times. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to try and see if yeah, I can save Yeah, let's see what them. happens. So we've done, we've done one of these. I, the past three. So this does need to be FAQ'd quite considerably. Yeah, you see, it's all over the place, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, you your attack's back. Right. He's only got a wound left. He could be in a spot of bother. <laughs> uh, where, I mean, come on now. Uh, okay, here we go. Ready? Yes. I've hit you all the times. Yep. I've wounded you. Not all the time. Six <laughs> times. Six times, eh? Six times. Can't Drago. Oh, it's gone horribly that time. Do I do oh, my relentless? Do I do my relentless carnage? Yeah, I do. Hey. That, How many more wounds do I do? Hey! I mean, he didn't shrug either. Oh, he's either. So he's super dead. He's popped. Yeah. He's sent to a bush. He just gets thrown into that demon game. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. well. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. That was a lot, wasn't it? Um, so again, we've we've done it. I know we've we rolled the saves. We, we've done it as if he can't. He does ignore the demon yeah. save because that surely that's the intention. It only works on demons, but it's yeah. not an invulnerable save. So that will be FAQ'd. Yeah, by us <laughs> today. <laughs> you heard it here first. Officially, there we go. Um, so uh, with that in mind, defense strongholds ongoing, and more than likely I'll get that next turn. Possible. Um, raise the banner. My pants, although they are delightful, it doesn't count. <laughs> I was thinking we were in GT, but uh, raise banner is in no man's land, which I can't do. Uh, I did get behind enemy lines with my yep. blood letters, so that's very nice. So I only got five points um, on the secondary there. Yeah. Um, and we've had a look at your cards into the next turn as well, because I am uh, in a little spot League of bother. Yes. Um, I think, interestingly, I, I would have scored grind, because you couldn't get enough things, even though Crow you got grind, did, yeah. did hit the bucket. Um, However, you deny me defense stronghold means that's discarded, yeah. so I get a whole set of cards. Yeah. And I drew a tempting target, yeah. which presumably will be the Bloodthirster Corridor. Yes, because you've already got these two. Yeah. And I got Assassination, yes. which the Four Moon Bloodthirster is my target. Or Sloppity. So Sloppity? That's, that's an option. And I then got Overwhelming Firepower. The thing is, because of the zippiness of yeah. the Grey Knights and the teleport options, I can probably get at least two of them. Yeah, so the Terminators could quite easily just advance into the uh, ruin over there. That is a ruin, so they can go through it. Yeah. Uh, and, and through the gate, which is very cool thematically. Um, uh, the floppity is going to bag his last pipe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll die. Yeah. Um, the blood letters are dead, yeah. effectively. And then at that stage, I will have my nurglings. It yeah. will just go. <laughs> <laughs> and just poof back into the warp. Um, uh, yes. 
So I'm very happy to concede, oh, what a game, man. That in this game. An absolute roller coaster. Well done. That psychic phase yeah, was absolutely I, incredible. In terms of clutch moments in games, yeah. it, that was the moment, I've I think. never seen so many 11s. It was in a preposterous. Psychic phase yeah. Absolutely bananas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it goes that way sometimes. Yeah. I think I was just somehow ro rolling like a demon, funnily enough. Very nice. <laughs> Very, can we interest you in our wares? I think the Inquisitors are going to have a word with this selection. Great. <laughs> yeah. like, what were you yeah. guys up to? You're all filthy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the demons are quite interesting. Yeah. I think um, looking at this game and also the one that you can get on demand next week as well, I think they probably work best as mono faction. Yeah. Um, because you're sort of spreading out your abilities over lots of different things. It's really fun because you can take lots of different yeah. things to do different jobs. And I'm 100% going to do Monster Mash at some point as well. With 100%. All, like yeah. all exalted greater demons. Yeah. Um, we'll try pure Nurgle. We'll try pure Slaanesh and see how they go as well. Uh, but they are very fun. It's, They're it's, really fun. It's quite a, a, a weird book. They, they they, they, it's quite hard to get your head around. It's a little bit yeah. like the old demons where they feel like a bit of a finesse army. Yes. Uh, they fall apart in combat real bad. It's an interesting one. I think also there were some moments in this game like with the soul grinder of like somehow I did six wounds with two butts of my rifles and yeah. one sword was preposterous. Yeah. And I think that, you know, that is what it is. But I think it's interesting to see the glow up some of the units have had. Like that whip is awesome. Yes, it is. So cool. Yeah. Um, you're very unfortunate with how much psychic damage I did to Bellacor. Poor, well. poor Bellacor. Poor Bellacor. Yeah. Um, but in your freshly painted model centre, everyone always happens. <laughs> it has to happen, doesn't <laughs> it? Happen. Um, yeah, very cool. And you did very well with the Grey Knights. Thank you. Have um, you had any thoughts on your league uh, list going forwards? Yeah, uh, weirdly, this has maybe had some, think some, some thinking in the old thinking noggin. Yeah. Um, so I'll have to see what changes this provides very good um but yeah all those purifiers powered up today your bits isn't they <laughs> very nice good. well thank you for being here with us today we hope you enjoyed this codex game of the new chaos demons let us know what you think uh, there'll be much more coming um on freeview already you've got the top changes and on demand you'll have the combos and uh top units that you could enjoy on there as well as another game as i mentioned coming later in this week uh more demons to come more fun to be had yes um, thank you to our servo skull for this. You're game. welcome. No, we're welcome. And that's the <laughs> end of that. Indeed. We'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye. bye. But I have paid five points for what is maybe the most situational but coolest thing in the Grey Knights Codex, and that is the true name shard. Essentially, when he's fighting a demon, he reads the demon's true name, it puts fear into the demon's heart, and then it fights last, which is very, very cool and might come up today. Alan Titchmarsh! <laughs> Black Titchmarsh! Black! Demon Trail! Demon Trail! Demon Trail! like your garden. You're like a demonic Alan Titchmarsh and I won't have it. <laughs> the Arch Demon for Titchmarsh! What's the damage? Three. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> you killed Alan Titchmarsh! Oh no! You're a monster! <laughs> you condemned him back to the demon world! <laughs> Demon save! Demon save! Demon save! Demon save! Demon save! No! <laughs> Demon saves! Oh, oh, so close! <laughs> oh no! The beast! <laughs> Demon save! Oh yes! <laughs> He's still alive! No. He's gonna get all his wounds back! Demon save! Demon save! Demon save! Demon save! Demon save! Demon save!
Demon save! The train will never die! Damn you tree! Five up. Demon save! Demon save! Whoops. Demon save! Demon save! Yes! He lives! He lives! Oh, he's actually dead. <laughs>